In the wake of last week's corruption arrests, Hoboken Mayor Peter Camerano has decided to resign. He made his announcement this morning. As Jeff Hennig tells us, although he's giving up his position as mayor, he still maintains he is innocent of the charges that led to his arrest. It is in the best interest of the city and all concerned for me to resign. I apologize to the residents of Hoboken for the disruption and disappointment this case has caused. However, I would like to reiterate that I am innocent of any criminal charges and I intend to fight the allegations against me. Hoboken Corporation Counsel Steve Kleinman reading a portion of Mayor Peter Camerano's resignation letter, which he hand-delivered to City Clerk James Farina at 9.15 Friday morning. Camerano's resignation became effective at 12 noon, at which time Hoboken Council President Dawn Zimmer was sworn in as the city's acting mayor until a special election can take place on November 3rd. The winner of that election will complete the remaining three and a half years on Camerano's term. Should Zimmer win, another special election would be held to fill her fourth ward council vacancy. Today, we begin the hard work of restoring confidence in city government and tackling the serious problems that face Hoboken. First, I want to say that I recognize the traumatic experience this has been for many Hoboken residents and city employees. I want everyone to know I am committed to open, honest, and accountable government. I will draw on the skills, talents, and energy of all of our residents to set a new direction for our city. Camerano, in office for just one month, is accused of accepting $25,000 in bribes as part of the largest corruption scandal in New Jersey history. Zimmer told the packed council chambers she was ready to get to work, saying lowering taxes, solving the flooding problem, and restoring the city's reputation were among her goals. As far as the zoning issues, I hope that next week that the city council will pass a uh, zoning ordinance that restores the power of um, of zoning and zoning appointments to the city council because I do believe that is where it should rest. So that, that's where I'm going to start. I think today we turned the corner on, uh, gotten to the point where we can really let some healing begin here in the city and we can start moving the city forward and moving our agenda forward and moving us towards solving some of the serious problems that have been facing Hoboken. I'm hopeful that we can move forward. I'm grateful for the action that Mr. Camerano took this morning. I'm proud of Dawn. She's been doing a wonderful job of carrying through this. Um, and I'm just looking forward to bringing the city back together again and on the right track. I think the city needs to come together and really unite rather than be divided as it has been in this past election. Uh, we need to move the city forward. We need, need to move into a positive light uh, rather than the negative light that we've been looked upon. It really comes down to the team that she puts around her. Um, that she surrounds herself with. She does have a council majority, so that should help. And uh, also with the help of Judy Tripodi, the state fiscal monitor, I think that adds a little bit of continuity um, through the transition. When asked by a reporter whether or not she intended on running in November's special election, Acting Mayor Zimmer left no doubt she will be a candidate come November 3rd. At Hoboken City Hall, Jeff Hennig, Neighborhood Journal.